The man who the mayor and Baltimore police believe was connected to the killing of three-year-old Mackenzie Elliott has been released from jail after never having been charged. Keith Daniels streaming live at Mitchell Courthouse where prosecutors freed the man. Keith. Well, Jennifer, the 20-year-old man spent two months behind bars on an unrelated charge without bail, but now he's free. And tonight, for police, it seems the little girl's killer is still on the loose, whoever that might be. At the Mitchell Courthouse in downtown Baltimore, Tyrone Jamison walked into a hearing Wednesday morning called by police a person of interest in the McKenzie Elliott murder investigation. But after prosecutors dropped his alleged violation of probation on an unrelated gun charge, Jamison was released from jail without being charged in the murder. If it's not him, find out who it is. Demetri Jackson, who lives on the block where three-year-old McKenzie was murdered, is wondering what happens now in the search for the little girl's killer. Somebody got to come out and say something. Somebody. Don't matter who it is, no matter who you are, no matter what your rep may be, somebody come out, come out and say something. A stray bullet in a drive-by shooting struck and killed McKenzie while she played on a porch in Waverly, August 2nd. Police Commissioner Anthony Batts promised to have an arrest by the end of the week. Mayor Stephanie Rawlings-Blake later told the public police had the girl's killer behind bars, even showed her frustration over what she called a cowardly, deadly shooting. Shooting in the middle of the day, shooting indiscriminately in the middle of the day. So, to, to allow something to happen like this, this is a depraved mind, a reckless person that does not care about human life. At the time, investigators say they hoped by having Jamison off the streets, witnesses might come forward. But police don't have enough evidence for a murder charge, and Jamison was let go. Police only releasing this statement now that reads in part, the course of the investigation has shifted and we have substantial leads that we are continuing to follow up on. Well, tonight, prosecutors have no comment because, in the words of a spokesman, the tragic death of Mackenzie Elliott is an ongoing investigation. We're live now in downtown Baltimore, Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News. All right, with Kelly Swoop, I'm Jamie Costello. New developments tonight to tell you about two months after he turned himself in. The person of interest in the death of a three-year-old has been released from jail. The man was never charged for the August drive-by shooting that killed little Mackenzie Elliott, and now he's walking free. ABC2 News' Catherine Hawley joins us now to explain why. Well, the 21-year-old turned himself in back on August 8th on an unrelated probation violation. He's been behind bars ever since. But at a hearing today, the Baltimore City State's attorney tells us that matter was resolved, so the man was released. Three-year-old Mackenzie Elliott was outside playing on August 1st when a stray bullet from a drive-by shooting ended her life. The murder sparked a citywide manhunt for her killer, and Baltimore City Police Commissioner Anthony Batts vowed to make an arrest within a week. I'm looking forward to being able to say that we have the suspects in custody soon. Uh, I'm very hopeful. Days later, a person of interest was behind bars. The 21-year-old man turned himself in on a probation violation. He was never charged in the case, and today the Baltimore City State's Attorney's Office tells us the violation was resolved in court, meaning he's a free man and the murder remains unsolved. Baltimore police released a statement saying in part, the course of the investigation has shifted and we have substantial leads that we are continuing to follow up on. It's just devastating to everybody here in the neighborhood. Folks who live where the shooting happened say they're frustrated the killer is still on the streets. I'm furious. I'm furious. I mean, I walk my dog and, you know, all around the neighborhood and, you know, I, to think that I have to be fearful of where I walk my dog now and anything could happen at any time, it's... You know, it's really disconcerting. Police is not doing their job because somebody's saying something around here. Hmm. Maybe one day, you know, somebody will come forward or whoever done it, maybe they will um, come forward. Um, it, it's sad. We went to Mackenzie Elliott's house today, but her family had no comment about the person of interest being released. If you have any information about this case, please call investigators at 410-396-2100. Catherine Hawley, ABC2 News. Yeah, we feel for that community, don't we? And we feel for Mackenzie's family. Girl. Yeah.
Well, the city police commissioner promised that officers would find the killer of three-year-old Mackenzie Elliott. But after two months, the only person of interest in this case is out of jail. WJC is live right now at city police headquarters, and Derek Falcourt has the latest twist in this case. Derek? Well, that man has been in custody now for two months on an unrelated probation matter, but in all that time, he was never charged with the little girl's murder, and so tonight he is walking free. At just three years old, Mackenzie Elliott's life was cut short by a stray bullet in an August 1st drive-by shooting as she played on her neighbor's porch. Her parents left heartbroken. I can't get over this. This is not going to go nowhere. This is going to stick with me forever, like forever. But I, I, I can't deal with this. An outraged community rallied around the family and Baltimore's police commissioner vowed justice. The person responsible, we will bring them to justice before the end of this week. Police did have a person of interest in the case. He turned himself in on a probation violation. Since then, he's been locked up. But the Baltimore State's Attorney's Office says he was released from jail Wednesday after his probation matter was settled in court. I talked to Mackenzie Elliott's mother, Nina Epp. She told me she had no idea that the person of interest in her daughter's shooting had been released from custody, but she said she had no comment. For its part, the state's attorney's office issued a statement saying because the tragic death of Mackenzie Elliott is an ongoing investigation, this office has no comment. For something like that to happen, that's not right. Neighbors near the crime scene disappointed to hear that for now, Mackenzie's murder remains unsolved. Our legal system is just isn't good here in Maryland because I live on this block, so I'm hoping. You're hoping for justice. I am hoping for justice for Mackenzie. In a written statement tonight, police would only say that the course of their investigation has shifted and they have substantial leads that they are continuing to follow up on. We're live. Derek Valcourt, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, thank you very much, Derek. Anyone with information on the shooting is urged to call investigators. The number's there on your screen, 410-396-2100. All right, Baltimore police could be getting help from an unlikely source in their efforts to arrest the person who killed little Mackenzie Elliott. Criminal defense attorney Warren A. Brown is calling on his colleagues to help police solve the little girl's murder. Mackenzie was killed by a stray bullet August 1st in a drive-by shooting in a Waverly neighborhood. There was a manhunt, and police commissioner Anthony Batts vowed to make an arrest within a week. Well, yesterday, the person of interest, who had been in bars since August 8th, on an unrelated probation violation was released. Tomorrow, Brown will call on his fellow attorneys to do something unprecedented. What I'll be asking my peers in the criminal defense bar is to ask their clients and the friends of their clients whether or not they have any information, even if, it's, even if they provide it anonymously, even if, it's, even if it's, it's not hardcore evidence, but some information that might be turned over to the police. This is the, the, the line is drawn in the sand. If we cannot protect our three-year-olds, if we cannot uh, uh, move quickly in apprehending a person who is so uncaring, so callous, so filled with, with evil, that, um, that, that the, the, an arrest can't be quickly made, then, you know, it, it's just a sad commentary. Brown says he already spoken to some attorneys. He's going to officially announce the initiative tomorrow to help police. Baltimore police say the course of the investigation has shifted, but they're continuing to follow up on substantial leads. Yeah, you got to give Warren credit stepping for stepping up. up. Is right. Up.